you got so skinny. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm fading away. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I got a few announcements to make. We have uh, some presentations for scholarship recipients. If we want next generation stewards to take care of this place, we need to educate them and we need to instill a love and curiosity. And that's what SOFO does. It's a wonderful institution. I've had our school, Raw School, become very involved in environmental studies. I think it's really uh, negligent if we don't have at every age, uh, every year, environmental studies. It's the only thing like this on the East End. They're into education, awareness, preservation. They take you conservation. on conservation. They take you on uh, scavenger hunts looking for snapping turtles and preserving the beauty that makes the this Hamptons. This is basically our backyard. The Hamptons so is very sure special. We have to make sure we take care of it. This is yeah. our baby. Dusty streets in life. We want everybody to go to the main tent and enjoy the rest of the night. What's important about it, it is a good cause, but irrespective of the cause, I'm a, a buddy of Andy Sabins, and he's a good cause. And I'm Frank Lovetto, director of the South Fork Natural History Museum, and I want to welcome you all to the 29th Annual SoFo Summer Gala. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Andy Sabin to my left, president of the board of directors, co-founder of the organization. 29 years, Andy, we're almost there. Thank you, everyone. And I just want to tell you, I got a chance to meet the new head of the EPA, and I explained to him the job of the EPA is to protect the public's health. I, I am very pleased to welcome and thank our acclaimed honorees. Each of these fine people and good friends are renowned in their own fields. I mean, we have the cream of the crop here tonight. Courtney is an educational visitor, a filmmaker, and an innovative thinker. Courtney, thank you for sharing SOFO's commitment to ensuring the well-being and sustainability of our global community. <laughs> Russ Mittermeier is a visionary leader. He just won the Indianapolis Prize, the world's leading award for conservation. Russ is regarded as a world leader in the fields of primatology, biodiversity, and tropical forest conservation. I'd like to start off just by thanking Andy. Andy is a truly exceptional individual. He is the businessman, the business leader, who is most committed to species conservation on the entire planet. And Andy mentioned that uh, Madagascar trip. Please bid on it if you come. I can guarantee you 20 lemur species in the wild in a matter of 10 days or whatever we have uh, put in there for the trip. Thank you again for this great honor. Don Church is a passionate conservationist who's dedicated to protecting endangered amphibian and reptile species. I'd like to thank Don for his outstanding work in helping to preserve the problem. Truly a great honor. The SOFOs of the world are the places that create the guardians of our planet, the people who look after the fresh water that we drink, the food that we eat, the, the medicines that we derive from the, the, the natural world, all of this put together, when you think about it, what could be more important than a place like SOFO? So thank you all for the support. Nancy Allen, take it away. Thank you. I want to thank Diana Setti, our development director. The effort that she has put into this event is what you see tonight, and she's been working 24 hours a day on getting this to be what it is today. So thank you, Diana, for your hard work. Thank you. So much, take me home.